Hey guys, welcome back. I feel like crap. <laughs> I feel so bad. I have no idea how I got any sleep last night, but oh my goodness. The, uh, my face is definitely swollen, but, uh, I feel like, oh man, oh man. And then somebody had their generator running all night, uh, or a good portion of the night, rather. Uh, and it was just, it just, I could not sleep. Oh, it's, anyways. But uh, you get what you pay for here, right? So, Cracker Barrel has been otherwise okay. I've been hanging out here through the morning, just working, a couple meetings and troubleshooting sessions. But it's uh, it's one of those things where I don't really want to talk. People can't hear me anyways, so whatever. These guys, these guys want to go play, and I uh, do not want to be yelling. So that's cool. Yeah, they, I can I can still feel. Where they're like yanking the tooth. That's what it feels like. They're just continually yanking the tooth. I don't feel like I was well prepared for the amount of pain. But I also wonder if it would have helped me knowing that it was going to be so bad. <sighs> Which, you know, whatever. <laughs> oh. You can't go with. Nope. Getting plenty of solar. We're getting around seven, 760, 770 watts somewhere in there. But yeah, they gave me amoxicillin for an antibiotic and a mouthwash. That's supposed to do really well, uh, but nothing for pain. And I've been taking ibuprofen, but like the maximum dosage. Dosage. It's terrible. But I am so hungry. I have. Uh, I've been fasting <laughs> for like a ridiculous amount of time. I think we're coming up over 48 hours now. Not intentionally either. It's just, I didn't really have much of an appetite yesterday and I didn't want anything to interfere, so. Let's go to uh, Cracker Barrel. Might have to pause some of this audio because of the song, so. If you've never been to Cracker Barrel, this is it. A lot of decorations. They have a whole store and, yep, pretty corny country music. But let's go in. So if you've never been to Cracker Barrel, this is it. And they have all sorts of, uh, they have all sorts of stuff you can get, which is pretty good. Uh, but, they have all sorts of very country, uh, a lot of biscuits as you can see. Stuffed cheesecake pancakes, all sorts of good stuff. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But we're gonna go with the grilled sirloin steak, and I'll just break it into smaller bites. I'm sure that the rainbow trout is pretty good. Emma likes to get the chicken and dumplings or the chicken fried chicken, which is pretty good. Believe it or not, all sorts of stuff. I like the, uh, the fireplace and the hunting <laughs> equipment. So this is one of the places that uh, I think my buddy Mike had taken us when we were first down in Nashville. Really cool. It still has a kind of southern hospitality sort of feel. Ooh wee! Got biscuits, steak, macaroni, mashed potatoes, green beans. I'm gonna have to use uh, some smaller bites here. <laughs> Food is great. Let me show you around though. We got all sorts of uh, all sorts of stuff in here. Plenty to rot your teeth with, but 
They also have a lot of kind of quirkier uh, <laughs> little tummy. It's hilarious. A lot of toys and stuff for the kids. Pokeballs. And a lot of very Sunday school looking clothing. <laughs> Look quilts. I've never seen the quilt till before. This is uh, a little new. Oh, there's a peacock boy. Look at that. Wow. And you can ooh, bedazzle your hat. That's something. Wow. I tell you, I think that's the first time I've ever not finished my Cracker Barrel. Ask Emma. <laughs> oh man. Oh, but very good. I'm going to return to work. It is kind of nice to have uh, just a quick lunch break here. We'll return to work and then uh, we might stay one more night. I don't, I don't think anybody will mind us hanging out. The dogs and I are out on a mission. I'm off work. And it ended up being a beautiful day out here. As you can see, beautiful day. And our batteries are at a, a float charge, which just means they're completely charged up. And, and basically the solar panels are just filling whatever is being used, whatever minimal amount. So that's a good thing. But I haven't taken these guys out for a, you know, little walk in a while. We usually just play uh, with the ball or something like that. So two blocks down is an RV park. And you guys know, I love, love checking out RVs and seeing what's out there. So Let's see what we can find. Also, I appreciate all your guys' well wishes on yesterday's video. Sorry, Nasia. It's coming along. I, uh, I'm not a big soup person. Although, uh, a few people have suggested soup. Uh, as you'll see today. I didn't, so it didn't turn out. Surprisingly though, it hasn't hurt my mouth any worse to have like little bites of steak, so. Thankfully. Desert Sands Mobile Park, overnight or forever. A lot of fifth wheels and trailers. A couple Jayco's. Oh, what is that bus? That's interesting. American Eagle? Oh, would you look at that. That was a beauty. Is there a 40 footer? Tandem axle? Oh, wow. That's a beautiful coach. Really cool. I like the uh, I like the stainless steel down there. Those definitely they like hold there. They always look good. Got an older pounder. You see a lot of folks full timing in those. Older pounder. A lot of folks that add on porches and things. Kind of nice. Got a tiny house back here. All sorts of rigs. Got a tiffin. Looks like an open road. It's a gas line up. Big old windshield on that guy. And I like the dark purple. A lot of folks with their nice plants. I have been trying to avoid filming people uh, as much as possible. Some folks don't, <laughs> don't take too kindly to that. But uh, yeah, it's really, really something. You see all the folks with with all of their, their little plants and easy to pack up when they you know, want to move on down the road. That's pretty nice. Look at the high over there. Van Dura. Good looking ring. I wish they'd bring back that green. I like that kind of, uh, kind of pea green color. This is not a flattering term for it. But I like that kind of, that green. I don't see too much green on uh, RVs these days. I'm glad not to see yellow. And orange, eh. Uh, but green, I feel like we could use that a little bit more. It, I think the problem comes in when you pair it with tan. Like green and tan, it's, it just starts to look bad. Deer Valley RV Park. And uh, from the outside, I see a lot of uh, Jayco's. But uh, let's see what's interesting in here. A lot of nice fifth wheels, little river stones. I really like those. These North Points, I. I like those as well. Those are pretty, pretty decent. Hmm. It's really been kind of getting under my skin that our rig doesn't have real wood. That bothers me for the cabinetry. I mean, 
at least real wood, if not, you know, a composite of some sort that's, you know, water resistant. Why not? Here's another river stone. Good looking, doesn't have the paint job. Uh, micro light. Oh, look at this Tiffin. That thing's huge. Ours will be smaller than that. That is a big rig. That would be. The uh, micro light has a little, little front damage. That is a big old J flight. Interesting. I, I, it's a big old rig. I didn't know they made them bumper pull that large. I love this red ram oh, that's a beautiful truck that's the front end styling of uh of uh my first ram beauty well that's the fifth wheels over here and this part kind of goes back a couple so we'll see what's we'll see what's interesting out here well this uh was it travel air travel air this is a genesis and look at this uh interesting design it looked like they really wanted to push the wind up, or if it was going down, it would travel in and it would go this way or this way. That's an interesting take on a, kind of an aerodynamic design. You don't see too many like that. Very unique. Hmm. They uh, look like they lost their awning. And honestly, I think if we had an issue with our awning, we don't use it enough to spend the money to repair it. I kind of noticed that with a lot of uh, a lot of rigs. <laughs> Folks just say they, they get beat up and then you know what are they gonna do? There's a Thor Chateau with a big old slide on the side. I tend to see those like the tan, uh, especially on the chateaus and any of the Thor products. Uh, they get chalky, get real chalky, especially if they're left in the sun for a little bit. They definitely need a good wash, a little bit of a like maybe a light buffing, and then a like a wax. I think they need wax a little more than uh, some others. Because uh, we've seen that on a lot of them, um, including so there's a couple of Winnebago's that we've seen that if they're not a full body paint, same exact, same exact deal. I don't think that's like abnormal, but something to know. Wow, look at that the size of this Jayco. That's a big old ring. Love that front cap. Mm. There's a little fence around there. Oh, look at that nice Indian motorcycle. Always good looking bikes. Here's an Airbus by Rex Hall. They're no longer in business, but good looking, right? Little Coleman trailer here. Oh, two Coleman trailers. What if they're friends? Hmm. Ford Taurus headlights. Uh, what, a 90, 93 to 95? Somewhere in there interesting we really don't use regular automobile headlights anymore i think uh tiffin still does on some of their rigs this is a vacation holiday rambler vacation and those are ford windstar headlights 90s ford windstar here's some cadillacs the executive that's a that's a handsome rig right there pretty cool i think these are another uh, ford Ford headlights up there. Three slides on this Montana. Woo! RV of the year, 2016. 3820 FK. Four slides, five slides, five slides on her. Oh, here's another Montana. 20th anniversary edition. You like our Montanas out here? Hmm. Springdale. It's kind of cool having a little patio set up. Oh, I like the uh, the window awnings here. Royals International. It's an older rig, but looks like it's been decently well kept. That's kind of cool. Big windows in a in any rig are a must. A must. They did a good job there. I gotta say though, that's something that Jayco does really well. Is the big windows. Some manufacturers definitely don't, but Jayco does pretty good. Oh yeah, and the uh, Airstream, of course. Does really really well as well. This is a classic. I guess now this is a rear bedroom classic. Beauty, Susie Q. <laughs> oh, good looking, good looking trailers. Canyon Star. Front engine diesel. 
find that kind of interesting. They put the uh, the engine type or the engine position on the outside of it. It's kind of funny, right? Hmm. Look at this Allegro bus. Beauty, they keep that thing pristine. And some window awnings as well. That's pretty cool. I do love seeing all the rigs and other folks full-timing, which I'd be willing to bet that at least 99%, if not everybody here, is full-timing. Oh, I love to see it. A lot of kids uh, out here riding their bikes as well, which, yes, the weather affords, but, like, you just don't see that as much anymore. I wish we saw more kids getting active and getting out there and, you know, off their butts. Be, be the first to admit, I need to do more of it myself. We'll start with taking walks around RV parks. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. See you in the next video. Bye.